If you have been accessing your MSN or Hotmail email on the web, you are about to be switched over to their new Outlook.com unless you have already elected to do so. So today I'm going to help you learn a little bit more about how to get the most out of the new Outlook.com. The first thing you'll notice is that the new Outlook.com is much more plain. Once you get accustomed to it, I think you will welcome the less busy interface. First, I'm going to take you to the contacts, your address book, because if you've been there in the last six months before the new Outlook.com got converted, that will look a little familiar to you. And to get to my address book, I click this little arrow at the top of the screen, right next to the Outlook logo, and I click People. I don't know why they renamed it People, but that's what it is. And this is what your address has started to look like the last six months anyway. As you can see, I don't have anyone in here at the moment. But while I'm here, I can click New, and I get a little form here off to the side, and I just type in the information that I want to put in there, and then click Save and then your address book starts getting populated. To get back to email, I click here on the little arrow again, and then click the email logo. In the email section, first thing you'll see is the list of messages. As you hover on a message, you get an opportunity to do a few things just by hovering. One is mark the message as red, and it goes from bold to red. Or I can delete a message right on the fly, or you can flag a message to make it more prominent in your inbox. If I click a message, it comes up as before, but not as clear until you're oriented to it are the reply and the forward and your other options, which have all moved to the very top in this colored bar. So the reply is first and foremost. You have to click an arrow to get to reply all or to forward a message. It doesn't automatically appear. So you have to click under the little drop down arrow. I can delete the message. I can archive, which is a newer term that Outlook.com is starting to use to compete with Gmail. I can mark the email as junk if I want to, or I can use a new button called Sweep, which will let me unsubscribe automatically from newsletters. So I can do that, or I can file the email in a folder that I already have, or I can create a new folder on the fly. To get back to my inbox, I just simply click Inbox, and I'm back in there. To compose a new message, you click on again up on this blue bar at the top. I click New. The Compose email is quite different, and it will throw a lot of folks off. But your, the addressing of your email shows up on the left and takes up an extraordinary amount of room on the message. But I can start typing in whoever's in my email address book and just pick from the address book that way. Or I can click on To and click on a person's name that way. Then I gotta come over here to the right hand side and I can click to add a subject and you just click right on the words add a subject and then you type it in there and then the body of your message comes up here so I can click and I can add my messages here. I do have a little toolbar, simplified toolbar here for adding smiley faces and changing your text size and things like that. The attach files is actually fairly prominent right there. You click on your attach files and then you can access the files you want and attach them to your email. When you're ready to send, click send again up here in this blue bar. We're back in the main screen of Outlook.com. On the far right hand side I have this little gear here and if I click the gear that gives me some settings, some configurable settings. I can change the color of this bar at the top of the screen by using this color grid here. I can also decide whether or not I want a reading pane. So for example, if I click that for bottom, when I click on a message, the message is visible at the bottom and the list is available at the top. So if you have that and you don't want it, you can turn it off again over here on the gear. The reading pane is off, right, or bottom. The ads on the right hand side of the Outlook.com email, you cannot get rid of them and you cannot make it smaller. They're just going to be there and you'll just have to ignore them. I think they are a little less obtrusive than the previous versions. So there's a quick overview from the changes from the old Hotmail to the new Outlook.com. Your email address will not change, but the way you interact and use your email is a little bit different and will take a little bit getting used to, but hopefully you will find that it works well for you.